Now, in order to understand how we find the position of a celestial body, like the sun, we have to establish a way of measuring. Okay? So, you guys probably already know that our compass is divided into 360 degrees, correct? So this is 0 and 360, OK? This is 90. This is 180. And this is 270. And then there's everything sort of in between, OK? So 315, 45 degrees, uh, 135, I think. And I forgot what this one was. That's something. OK? So you guys understand how a compass works, yes? Okay, so, and this is north, this is south. All right, so one of the things that we need to establish for you guys is a word called azimuth. Okay, so azimuth is the position of a celestial body. Okay, azimuth is the position of a celestial body along the ground plane in degrees measured from true north, which we'll have to talk about north and what that means also, okay? So the second thing that's important to understand is that if we're using our horizontal distance to figure out where it is, it's also going to be up, and that is called altitude. So azimuth, Right? That's down looking at the ground plane, and altitude is the distance from the horizon up. Okay? So this is altitude. It's also called elevation. Right? So like in the, the program that you guys were looking at, it's called elevation, but we'll call it altitude. Between using azimuth and altitude, you can find any position in the sky. Okay? So I'm going to grab a hand bearing compass that I happen to have down here. So this is a, this is a mariner's compass, or not a mariner's compass, but it's a compass that's used by mariners to find bearing positions. Okay? Can't really use it in here, it's too much metal. Works good on boats. But this thing allows you to kind of sight along the ground, like wh what direction something might be. Okay? So, sunrise. So, here's, a, here's, here's this, this is one of those things that's going to be in the quiz. What is the altitude of sunrise in summer? Anybody want to take a guess? So what what is what is altitude? What was the definition of altitude we just gave? From the horizon. From the horizon up. So at at sunrise, right? At first light, the sun's coming up. What's the altitude of the sun? What's the angle? Zero. zero. That's right. So it is at zero. Okay, so then later it's, it'll rise and come across the southern hemisphere, right? And at solar noon, which is halfway between sunrise and sunset, it'll be at a different altitude, right? So here's another, another one of those questions that you should be able to just answer. What is the azimuth of the sun at solar noon at the equinox? We'll repeat it. What is the azimuth of the sun at the equinox, at solar noon? I got a 180. Anybody else? Anybody? So two 180s. It's correct. It's symmetrical, right? If the sun rises here, it sets over there. So if it rises there, it sets there. 
Solar noon is halfway in between. And so it's always, at solar noon, going to be at 180 degrees. Okay? And that's true for summer, winter, and the equinoxes. And the altitude of the sun at sunrise or sunset, right, is also equal on all three of those dates. But the Earth moves around the sun, right? Yes? And you guys have all seen globes. And have you guys noticed that the North Pole doesn't point straight up? The North Pole kind of angles down? Somebody grab me one of those, um, those globes inside the, the cupboard over there and bring it up here. Let's grab one of them. Anybody know what the phrase is for, for why it tilts back? Remember back in like grade school maybe? No, no, no. No, it's called the angle of declination. Okay? Did it, did it come back? No. Okay. So when you guys have all seen these globes, right? They have this angle that it's tilted back at, right? That's called the angle of declination. The angle of declination and the Earth's orbit is what causes our seasons. Okay? So, and that's what causes the length of day to be greater or shorter. If the sun, if the polar axes were straight up and down, every day of the year would be how long? Well, every day of the year is going to be 24 hours, but how many hours of daylight would we have? 12 hours, if it was straight up and down. The thing that's causing it to get shorter or longer is the fact that it's declined. Okay? That's why, say we're using this projector as the light source, right? So, if I'm down here near the Arctic Circle and it's summertime, the sun will never set. Because no matter where I am, the sun's shining on me. But up here, above the, I'm sorry, that was in the Antarctic Circle. Up here, since we're tilted away, if I'm near the North Pole, the sun will never come up. Okay? It always stays kind of the same. So, anyway, the important thing that I want you guys to understand is azimuth and altitude is how you figure out where something is. So, to make this three-dimensional, I'll kind of draw it. Let me draw it over here. Let me erase this thing. I'm going to have to dry it now because that stuff does not dry. All right. Still not dry. Come on, dry. Dry. All right, so let's, I'm going to draw like a piece of paper, right? And I'm going to put a compass on it. So I'm going to say that that's north, that's south, that's east, and that's west. Okay? So you're always going to get the azimuth first. And so the azimuth for the azimuth for sunrise might be, I don't know, uh, in summertime, let's say that the azimuth is 54 degrees. So what angle is this? Okay, what angle is that? So 54 degrees is somewhere inside of here, right? Like about there? Okay. So so looking at it from where I'm standing, it's there. Now, what's the altitude? Zero. Zero. So the sun, right, there's no angle up. Now, let's take a look at it later in the day, right? Later in the day, at solar noon, right, what did I say? The azimuth of the sun will always be at solar noon anywhere? 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So azimuth is here, right? Now, let's do altitude. Altitude is measured vertically from there. And that's not a very good three-dimensional drawing, right? But altitude is coming up from there, okay? And altitude could be, I don't know, 45 degrees or 52 degrees or something like that. So you have azimuth and altitude, and those two things combined allow you to position yourself anywhere or position any heavenly body, okay? All right, how many minutes are we at? All right, go ahead and stop it.